Ah, another day, another journey. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Starfield once again. It's been a while since our playthrough of the original game, the campaign. And of course, today, after experiencing Unity and, well, coming back again from it, because Unity is boring, we come back and, yeah, take off to the skies in order to probably find out something about the Shattered Space. Enjoy. Something is clearly going on. That was the first message, the first contact that we've received. And with that, we do get a mission called What Remains. I found a star station called the Oracle emitting a warning si signal, telling people to stay away. If I want to find out what transpired there, I have no choice but to board. Let's just see where it is. There it is. Okay, so we need to board the station. No one is responding. There's no gravitation. Something has clearly gone wrong here. Over there is our target. Let's just see how we can get over there. Hmm. There might also be something here. Nah, it's worse than ours. And it also looks worse, so I'm not going to, to touch this. So how do we get over there? I think there is a, a dock. Ah, it doesn't open though. Out of our guns, you never know what's awaiting you here. Oh, some shotgun. If you're searching, then make it quick. Over there, something. I cannot give up. Oh wow. Doesn't look human. Hold on. You are strong. Concentrate. I'm trying, Sarah, but it's getting worse. I can feel my body slipping. Fragmenting. I'll become one of them. You have to get away from me. No, I will not leave you here. It's pointless. We share the fate. Hey, that is nice. What, what happened? Who did this? Reddit, fuse, boosted injector, star shard, Varun. 
and a Vortex Sword. I should be the last. Is someone there or...? My mind turns against me. I must return to engineering and make one last attempt to restore the power. Okay, find Strax logs, find the engineering bay controls. Outfit, so these are the Varun, I think. Oh, no, there's more of them. Yeah, I'm probably not going to use the mining laser on this. Um, I do have, however, I'm stuck, however, I can't do anything. Actually take something again. It was pretty unresponsive there for a second. Now we are back. This is way more precise on this distance. Three more. There it is. Alright, should be all of them. Got these Varun Penumbras and Varun Shards. Probably best to take it with me. And they're also frostbiting you, so their attacks are frost focused. What else do we have in here? Third person is really not that comfortable in tiny spaces. Tight spaces like this. Uh, grenade. Another grenade. Mm -hmm. There's also something here. But, oh, this looks good. Demoralizing Varun Star Lash. 10% damage against humans. All right. There's a huge difference between being prepared and carrying... I'm definitely carrying too much, though. <laughs> so let's just clean it up. I do have some very heavy weapons and I also have uh, quite a few things that I really don't need. And I definitely want to use that new weapon there that we just found. Too much. There you go. One of those locks. Post incident lock. Something has gone horribly wrong. We were in orbit directly above Dazra, monitoring our current experiments when we experienced a sudden energy surge. I fear the source came from the city itself. It triggered our graph drive and jumped the Oracle to an unknown location. We thought members of the crew were somehow lost in the jump. But later, we were attacked by what I will refer to as Vortex Phantoms. I thought I recognized some of them. Could it be that the energy surge has somehow transformed them and warped their minds? Quite an ID card. Okay. He's not. He doesn't have it with him, even though he definitely should be authorized for this. So we still need to find that. This one's locked. Mm, going with this. Uh. Ah, that wasn't it. Very close though.
Oh, look at that. Leadline calibrated deep mining balanced pack. 15% damage reduction from humans. Radiation resistance. Can we afford to carry this around? Yes, this one thing we can. This is way weaker than what we have right now. Okay, but there's no ID card here. Where could we find that ID card? Hmm, let's look downstairs. Let's float downstairs, I should say. Towards the target there. So I guess this is some kind of frost substance. Don't know the origin yet. See if they've got any weapons or ammo. And there seems to be one of those ID cards. Oh, it's another log. This is Iraq Vettel. Post incident log. After the initial jump. Areas of the Oracle have somehow been sectioned off by strange energy fields or barriers. The fields allow no one to pass and are somehow able to repel, almost teleport, the trespasser back. I am certain these new fields are related to the Vortex Phantoms. Both resonate with the same energy pattern. The exact same pattern we were studying for Anasco's experiments. Something happened in Dasra. And if the situation is bad here, I fear for our brethren in the city. So far we only know really that it's a failed experiment. From what I've gathered so far. Okay, what there? Oh. Energy anomaly. Got a bit too close there to the ice. Or whatever it is. Certainly took them by surprise. Where is he? <laughs> Just gone again? Seems like it. Sure they don't mind their med packs anymore. Apparently we need to get over there somehow. Just with this corridor? Nope. Fight the station. Oh, look at that. I have a feeling. <laughs> we open this one now. What do you give me? Getting darker now as well. The whole thing gives me kind of like gray vibes right now. Oh, there you go. Like the vortex shard. A 
hatch. Let's open. Boy, we're really deep into the station by now. Oh, look at that. They know the same game as we do. Not much of a match against the equipment and weapons we have so far. So we're level 38. Recommended is 35. I didn't want to take my high level safe with us right now because I think it would have made it too easy. But even at 38, it doesn't seem to be that much of a challenge at the moment at least. We'll just see. We'll also crank up the difficulty, of course. Ah, hello there. Did I wake you up? Oh. I hope not. And that's an ID card? Yes, that's one. There you go. So we'll take some ammunition with us. Oh, and there's also weapons. Mm, yeah, this one here looks good. We're too full again. Really don't want to throw something away for now. Okay, let's get back down there, I think. Oh, that was a struggle now. Okay, but we can take this shortcut here now, right? Yep, perfect. Sarah, they should be with you. <laughs> Based on the, the radar. And she's just floating around. This is where we came from. Oh, but they're here. There you go. Should be still one more. Also doing a lot of damage against them. Level 39, very good. Back in this giant room here. I think we could also enter there. Yes. <laughs> Can we please enter here? Thank you very much. And there was the socket. Okay. Restore the oracle to full power. Is that such a good idea? Because we don't know what that substance is. Reconnect. Unable to establish connection with the secondary power cell, please consult your licensed engineer to confirm the secondary power cell has been properly replaced. Cells dislodged in the last jump. The gravity. The restoring the gravity may pull the cell into place. If I can get to the control room, if I can No! They are coming! Yeah, they're spawning right beside me all the time. That's a bit annoying.
This is beautiful though, it's like swimming in the ocean. Okay. Are we able to enter here? No, we're not. Would have been too easy. It also seems like there is... There's the entrance. Another lock? Post-incident lock. I am one of the few remaining unaffected crew on the Oracle. Nadine, Lasira, and Taras are the only others I was able to find. I fear it is just a matter of time before we succumb to this energy that is turning the others. How long will we last? And will my mind be strong enough to hold out when my time comes? Basira and I have programmed the Oracle to return to Varun Kai's orbit once it is able. All of our research will automatically be transmitted the moment we are within Dasra's range. I pray our work here was not in vain. I think you need to get rid of some of that gear. Okay, find the alternative path, I guess down here. Oh, we definitely also need some health again. They're doing a lot of damage. This is the garbage area. <laughs> There's nothing else over there. There's also not even a switch or something. Also cannot open this one. How do I get over there? It has to be away from here. Also no path from above. So it's gotta be in there somewhere. Actually, from the garbage area, we can open this gate here. the emergency signals are still working. What is going on? There's something. There's the emergency power cell. There we need to insert it. Okay. Now... Let's reset the system. Uh, so much garbage. Let me through. There you go. So this should actually have resolved the power issue. This damn controls. Why would they not respond to me? Work, damn you! Okay, due to safety protocol 12.5, gravity has been disabled. Okay, enable gravity. Warning, gravity procedure initiated. Please check your surroundings to ensure personal safety. Restoring gravity in three, two, one. Oh, so much better. Okay, now we need to return to the engineering bay. Problem is, now my encumberment also comes back in full force, because when floating around, it's not that important. And now we somehow need to go back all the way down there. Oh, that's perfect. Whoa, that was actually close. I thought this was glass. <laughs> that, that's not glass. You can actually fly through that. Over here again. 
Okay, safety protocol 12.5. Due to a power surge, the secondary power cell has been injected. The secondary power cell must be reconnected. Let's do this. By selecting confirm, you are verifying the power array has been cleared. Please report to operations for required mainframe boot. Power cell connected. Report to operations for system reboot. So I guess we need to head back now again. But since a lot of there is strange ice structure, it's not going to be so easy. It's valuable you can drop. Oh, Sarah. She put off the suit. Do I have my suit? Yeah, I still have my suit. The Vortex Phantoms. Where did they go? Something is wrong. No! Not now! I have to hold on! Oh, you too. I'm hit. What a surprise. I thought he would actually have a bigger role in all of this. Oh, there he is again. Nothing. There you are again. Operation access card, money... Reboot the Oracle's mainframe. Okay, let's undock the station. Well, let's undock us from the station. And some over here. There you go. There's that city that we need to reach, right? Varun Kai. And Dasra. This looks absolutely epic where we are right now. Varun Kai, Moon of Kavunik system. Beautiful, really. Exit the ship. Hold very still and choose your words carefully. They will determine how long you live. Let's all just take a moment. I assure you, we mean you no harm. You have no right to be here. You will tell me how you found this place. I found your wayward star station, the Oracle. But it was lost. All communication ceased. There was no sign of it. Hmm. Yeah, something clearly went wrong. Indeed it did. The Oracle is perhaps the least of our problems, I'm afraid. Forrest, I think we need not fear our guest. Perhaps in this time of need. The Great Serpent has delivered us a gift. Counselor, with due respect, we have not had unannounced visitors here in generations. It is a clear breach of security. I do not disagree, and I know that security in whatever small form we can grasp it is of paramount importance. But you must acknowledge the timing is... curious. And perhaps our guest's intent should be determined before we take further action. Hmm. Your station brought me here. It jumped while my ship was docked. We received the automated transmission, but you are certainly not who we expected to find. Great Serpent! It's happening again! Hear me! Speaker! We are here! We have reached out to you. To, to seek guidance in our hour of need. 
The gate to the Citadel has been opened just to seek you. It's like we're still on the station. Oh, great serpent. Is... Is that you? Is it your presence, I feel? Hmm. Are you okay? I... I feel something, yet I see nothing. Is this a test? What do you require of me? Mm, I'm right here. Great serpent. I have done all that I can. The scaled citadel itself has been transformed to petition you. I know that all must serve, but I need more. I require guidance. Take pity on us and reveal the way forward. Our leader, Anasko Varun, he has appeared like this over and over. So many of our people have been trapped in this state, these vortex phantoms. But usually they are hostile and lash out. Nasco is different. If only we could hear his voice. Some reassurance that all is not lost. Hmm. He sounds plenty lost himself. You could hear him. Despite the sightings, none have heard the word from Anasco in all this time, yet you claim to. Do not toy with me. Not about this. If you speak truth, you must prove it. What did he say? Mm, he's trying to contact the Great Serpent, but something is wrong. He sounds lost. I, the Serpent? Are you quite sure? I was right here and I didn't hear a thing. It is hard to believe. And yet, the experiment was a secret, even to many of our own people. Truly. You did hear an Asko. You have been chosen. People of House Varun, hear me. We have asked the Great Serpent for deliverance from our calamity. And he has answered us. This outsider has been chosen as the most unlikely vessel for the Great Serpent's divine provenance. And he will help save us all. Outsider, please. There is no denying you have been sent here as a sign. You must help us. But there are... Uh, there are precepts that must be followed, principles that must be obeyed. Even in these dire circumstances, we cannot turn from Jinan Varun's teachings. You will be granted safe passage through Dazra and the lands beyond. No harm will come to you, on that you have my word. You even have my assurance that your compatriot here will also remain unharmed. But to truly aid us, you must become part of House Varun. This is not a thing done lightly, and it cannot be taken back. Will you commit to helping us by becoming one of the promised? You're a bit fast there. Oh, I just arrived. Um... All right, um, all right. Just tell me where to begin. Excellent. But please, come with me. About joining the whole house thing? We're just going to check this out later. I am Malibor Dulkev, a member of the High Council of House Varun. I have been asked to represent the Council in this moment. Please, enter our city. You have my word that you will not be harmed. I would ask that until you have become promised, you avoid the citizens of Dasra. They are not used to outsiders. Open the gate! I must tell you what I reveal for now, but surely you saw the scaled citadel as you arrived. It was the center of an explosion of sorts that has annihilated most of our city. We have lost many of our brothers and sisters. I believe we are still in danger.
Counselor, what is the meaning of this? Is there a problem, Makola? The city is in shambles, the speaker is missing, and here you are leading some outsider through our sacred space? Why allow this husk to defile our city? Have we not lost enough? Have faith, I believe this outsider was guided here by the great serpent himself. And soon, serpent willing, they will be one of us. But I can be sure and pass your concerns on to the rest of the High Council, if you wish. I apologize for the interruption. There is a ritual intended for converts to the Promised that has not been performed in generations. We are fortunate that there are those still alive who remember the old ways and have remained prepared for such a moment as this. Dinaza, I suspected we might find you here waiting. I saw the ship landing. I knew immediately that I would be needed. Indeed you are. This is Inaza Kaisir, Herald of the Serpent. She will guide you through the ritual. I am needed elsewhere, but I assure you that you are in good hands. Alright. And we continue onwards here in the next episode with, well, the ritual. I hope you enjoyed this one. Starfield Shattered Space. Stay tuned. <laughs>